nearly half of 9 to 16 year olds have come across hate speech or experienced abuse online. An echo chamber is in effect a place where you hear the same opinion or view echoed over and over again. And through that, your belief in that view or opinion is reinforced. And therein lies the problem, because if we're not challenging our views, if we're not challenging our opinions, then we're not really having a balanced idea. We're not able to have a balanced idea of what's going on. And I think when it comes to young people online who are very impressionable, it's very easy to kind of get drawn in to, um, to people that sort of preach ideas that kind of explain away why they feel upset or sad. And it's this person's fault. So if you're a man, it's a woman's fault. If you're a woman, it's a man's fault. It's, a, it's this identity group's fault. It's that group's fault. And what tends to happen is that there's little critical thinking going on, but much more of this emotional thinking where you just feel um, energized in the most sort of negative sense of the word to kind of um, seek out this information and kind of validate these unhealthy views. In the same way that we you know, want to ensure that our kids have a healthy diet, that they eat their fruits and their vegetables, we need to make sure that they have a healthy media diet. And what I mean by that is they need to ensure that they're curating what they read, what they listen to. So being aware of what your kids are viewing online and being in a place where you're able to speak to them about this, help them to challenge ideas and views, allow them to think critically is going to be key.